What's up everyone? Welcome back! Alright, so I am currently playing a video game inside of a video game, which is kind of badass, honestly. As is most of everything that I do is pretty much badass because I'm the greatest human being that has ever existed in the entire history of mankind. Oh wow, she needs some fucking sleep. What the fuck are you doing? Oh, there's the maid. She is probably pissed that I've been leaving cups everywhere. <laughs> Luckily for me, though, I have the luxury of not giving a fuck about her opinions because she is an NPC. An NPC who I would very much like to fuck if given the opportunity. But I think my wife, Felicity, here would not approve. Unless it was a three-way. Like, honestly, my sim is kind of a slut. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I already married Felicity once, divorced her, and now I'm married to her again. And I might divorce her again. Not entirely sure. We'll see. Um, time will tell, I guess. But yeah. Billy! How's it going, Billy? <laughs> nice. Come on in, Billy. Yeah, I was thinking about uh, maybe uploading some of my playthrough of uh, The Sims 2 to Rumble, but I have to be a little more careful with what I do on Rumble because of, you know, copyright issues. Because I know how that stuff works on YouTube, so, you know, I know how to navigate my way through that. You know, like what I can and can't do on YouTube, but there are some songs in this game that are, like, you know, copyrighted. But I think since I'm playing the game, you know, it would be... And I'm talking over it a lot of the time. I think it would be uh, covered under fair use. Plus, there's the sound effects from the video game. So it's not like I'm just re-uploading the music and trying to make money off of it. You know, because that would be bullshit. But I don't know. What do you guys think? Should I upload some of these uh, The Sims 2 videos to Rumble? We'll see. I'm kind of on the fence about it, honestly. I'm not entirely sure if I want to or not, but we'll see. We will see. Maybe these videos will be up on Rumble, maybe they won't, who knows. But either way, I absolutely love playing this game for you guys. Definitely one of my favorite games of all time. Can't wait to go to some of the other places too in the future. I'm just sticking with this place for now. Spending some time here. All that good shit. The <laughs> maid. <laughs> She's probably so fucking annoyed with my bullshit. Alright, she's still sleeping. This dude is just doing whatever the fuck. I don't even know. Just standing here. But yeah, man, I... Th it's been way too long since I've played this game, it seems like. But I really do love this game. I literally could just spend hours and hours in this fucking world just playing this game. It's awesome. Yep. Still to this day, hands down, one of my favorite games of all time. I absolutely fucking adore this game. Look at the maid, she's bending over. <laughs> Alright, anywho, if I'm done being immature. Which probably not, but you know, whatever. So, let's get massaged. Let's do it. 
for no fucking reason other than just because I can. Because I have a fucking massage table and it's brilliant. I thought she's just standing there like, what the fuck are you doing? Fucking Felicity. Just watching me get a massage? Okay, it's kind of weird, but whatever. What? What? Oh, nice. Super's home. All right. She needs some sleep. Ah, oh, good timing. But yeah, I think I could uh, get away with uploading some of these videos on Rumble now that I think about it, even though there is some technically, like, copyrighted music in here. I mean, I think it would still be protected under fair use, so if they said anything, I would just be like, hey, you know protected under fair use I'd be willing to go to court to defend it and granted I wouldn't have a whole lot of money so I'd probably have to find some pro bono lawyer or something but even still even a pro bono lawyer should be able to prove that it's fucking you know fair use Because again, it's like I'm talking over it. Plus, there's the sound effects from the video game too. So it's not like again, it's not like I'm just re-uploading the music, trying to uh, you know make money off of it. Because again, that would be bullshit if I did that. But that's not what I'm doing. You know, that's why pretty much any of the music that I use in my video games or in my uh, videos, I pretty much get away with it. Because again, it could be considered fair use. Because again, it's not like I'm just re-uploading music. You know, there's still even with some of the videos that I do without commentary, there's still the sound effects from the video game, you know. So it's not like I'm just straight up re-uploading music. I just use it as background stuff to spice up my videos a bit. Although, I am working on getting some more, like, non-copyrighted stuff. So coming up soon, the only uh, place where you'll hear, like, copyrighted stuff will be either in Rock Band or uh, my Gran Turismo Sports stuff, which... Yes, I know Gran Turismo 7 has released, but there will still be a lot of Gran Turismo Sport content, mostly just because I had a lot of, like, extra videos that I happened to record, because pretty much whenever I played that game, I would just record the races that I do just, you know, for the hell of it. Figure if I'm taking the time to play the game, I might as well create some content as well out of it, you know? Again, that's why I run an incredibly efficient YouTube operation, and why I'm definitely not going to be running out of uh, content to produce anytime soon, that's for damn sure. Like I said, I probably run one of the most efficient YouTube operations in history. That's why I've, you know, starred in and produced over 30,000, yes, you heard me correctly, 30,000 YouTube videos in my almost 10 years on YouTube now, which is fucking crazy, man. 10 fucking years. That is wild. That is some wild-ass fucking shit, man. 10 fucking years on YouTube. That's, that is fucking crazy, man. Yeah, it's hard to think about, but technically speaking, I created this YouTube channel back in 2011. I uploaded, like, one uh, video back then of me playing Wii Music. Um, just a one song on Wii Music. 
and that was the very first video I ever uploaded. And then I didn't really do anything with this YouTube channel after that for about a year and a half. But then, like, maybe like a year and a half, like almost two years after that, was a sophomore in um, in high school, and I uh, had the idea to start up a YouTube channel. I was kind of toying around with the camera, the recording camera on my uh, 3DS, which doesn't get very good quality, by the way. You go back and watch some of my early videos, because that's that's what I first really started using when I f started up this YouTube channel, was my Nintendo 3DS camera, which recorded at a 240 resolution, <laughs> which, for those of you who know what I'm talking about, that is a less than desirable uh, resolution to be recording at. <laughs> so some of my early videos were extremely low quality. You know, you go back and watch some of my shit from uh, 2013, 2014, 2015. Um, after that, I started using a webcam to record my videos, which even still those, you know, I used a couple of different setups with that, and even that didn't really get good quality either. It wasn't really until 2019, a couple of years back, when I actually invested in some, you know, actual recording equipment. Um, ended up making my life a lot easier, too, because some of those recording setups that I used were a pain in the fucking ass to set up. Whereas this recording device is not only easier to set up, but gets infinitely better quality than I was recording with before. You know, I actually can record professional quality videos and shit, and that was a game changer for this YouTube channel. Like, I've grown more on this YouTube channel in the last three years you know that i've been three four almost four years now that i've been recording professional quality videos for you guys like my youtube channel has grown exponentially since then like compared to how i've done in the past like it's not even a fucking contest you know so it was a very good investment indeed for sure you know uh getting my hands on some high quality uh recording shit so yeah, easily the best decision I ever made as a YouTuber. My only regret is not doing it sooner, you know. Um, but even back in the day, you know, I still had some way t ways to uh, get high-quality videos, whether it was through uh, Super Smash Bros. for Wii U was really the first, like, chance I had to produce high-quality content because there was a feature back in the day where you could upload your replays directly to YouTube and make them YouTube videos, you know. So I was able to... Those were like my first high quality, you know, videos that I produced. And then with the PlayStation 4, when I bought that, I figured out how to do like the live streaming thing. Um, so I did some live streaming back in the day. Although I'm not really a huge fan of live streaming. I know a lot of people, you know, not a lot of people, but some people, you know, have asked me, Hey, multi-step, are you ever going to do live streams? And the answer is no. Um, due to the simple fact that it relies too heavily on the internet and I get better quality by pre-recording these videos in advance. Because if it was, uh, you know, if I had to rely on the internet, then the quality wouldn't be as good. So these pre-recorded videos are uh, definitely the way to go for me. Um, I like to produce a lot more, like, shorter videos, too. I don't really produce too many, like, super long videos. Part of that is due to the fact that if I, you know, this recording device... With this recording device, if I record videos that are longer than, on average, like 28 minutes or so, then I have to end up, you know, doing some video editing and splicing the videos together, and it's a pain in the ass, and I don't like video editing. It's not really my thing. I don't particularly enjoy it, so... Um, I, it's just a bit of a pain in the ass. So that's the other reason, too, why I record typically a lot of, like, shorter videos. Plus, people tend to have shorter attention spans, and people don't always have time to sit down and watch a super long-ass video. So that's part of the reason, too, why I um, why I uh, record, you know, more shorter videos rather than less longer videos. That's just how I like to do things as well. That's just, again, that's always been my personal preference as well. So, yeah. But yeah, hard to fucking believe. It's been almost a decade here on YouTube that I've been recording videos. That's fucking crazy. To think I've fucking produced over 30,000 YouTube videos in that time is crazy. There's very few YouTubers that match my level of output. As far as content is concerned. 
Like, the amount of content I produce is fucking crazy. But it's fun, and I enjoy doing it, which is why I do it. Alright. Well, let's grab some drinks. Oh, I'm impressed. The maid actually did a pretty damn good job of cleaning shit up. There's like a lot of fucking cups there, too. But yeah, wow. A decade on fucking YouTube, man. That's... Yeah, on February 1st, 2023. I have no idea when I get around to uploading this, but that will be, like, basically my 10th year anniversary. I know technically I created this, uh... YouTube channel back in 2011, and I technically uploaded a video back then too, but I really consider like the start of this YouTube channel to be when I started consistently uploading content, which was um, February 1st, 2013. So, because that's when I really started, you know, consistently uploading videos on this channel, and I've been doing it ever since. Uh. uh, uh, uh. But yeah, I mean, technically it's not, you know, my YouTube anniversary. Technically it would be whenever I uploaded my first video, but I still consider that to be my, you know, real anniversary. I consider it to be the true birth of this YouTube channel to be February 1st, 2013, because that's when I really started uploading content. So that's when I, you know, celebrate the anniversary of this YouTube channel. But yeah, it all started with a little NASCAR 06 video. Me racing Dale Earnhardt, yeah, uh, Dale Earnhardt's number three around a little track called Dodge Raceway, and uh, yeah, I've been uh, been uploading videos consistently ever since. Fucking again, just fucking crazy to think about, man. Fucking ten years of this shit. That's fucking wild. And now I have, you know, now Multi-Step Productions has become a, uh, you know, social media conglomerate with, uh, you know, Multi-Step, my main YouTube channel. And then uh, this is still, you know, YouTube is still my main platform, at least at the time I'm recording this. And uh, now I've got a Twitter page and a Rumble channel as well. That's, uh, that's fucking crazy, man. Fucking crazy to think about. Time fucking flies, man. Fucking crazy to think that I was still in fucking high school my sophomore fucking year, man. About halfway through my sophomore year when I started this fucking YouTube channel. That is... That's fucking wild to think about. And now I'm, like, in my mid-twenties. Like, that's fucking insane. Yeah, you ever want a glimpse into, like, the story of my life, just watch all my YouTube videos, like, in a row. That'll basically give you the story of my life. Well, since sophomore year of high school, anyway. But yeah, fucking crazy, man. Fucking crazy shit. Been through a lot since then. You know, but, uh... This YouTube channel has been an absolute fucking pleasure to have put together for you guys. I have loved this very much overall. You know, it's had its ups and downs, but uh, I would say overall it's been a great fucking experience. You know, running this YouTube channel for you guys. It's been awesome overall, I gotta say. Where the hell is Felicity? 
Oh, there she is. She's eating. That fucking bitch. Alright, well either way, I'm going to go ahead and end this one here. So guys, stay tuned, and until next time, peace out.